what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so it's almost one in the morning and we're out here at shuriken we're gonna do this quest again so we're gonna go for our weekly the reason why we're doing this is because we want the second piece of the infinite health pot we have 52 so far and we have one pity piece so let's see how we can do and it's been a while since we've been here so let's do this actually um might as well let me turn on the buffs and i don't think we need it but let's just pop it for for fun pop this so we can use our inventory and we're good okay so i think we have like 40 minutes left in in our marnie realm yeah I'm actually curious to see what the Marnie realm for this area, what it locks off and what doesn't. So, like, realistically, I don't need it, but let's just do it for the sake of doing it. How do you even get in the Marnie realm? Okay, I hope it covers this spot. So, yeah, we're here again. I never thought I'd be here. But we want more pity pieces for the health potion. Oh, there we go. We got one already. Nice. So for all of you who are new and have never grinded here for the piece before, um, it's not tricky. It's like the only thing you really have to worry about is there's a few things here that CC you. And you just have to kind of watch out for that. So after that, if you're like low DP, then they could hurt, but realistically, I think it'll be fine. So we're on to weekly for 3,000 of them. I'm actually more just curious to see what uh, or how long it'll take. Looks like it's not going to be that long. We're already at like 100. So usually I just do a circle here, but I guess if we're in the Marnie realm and we're seeing how how much of the map it keeps open for us, I can take advantage of bigger poles. Usually I would use a tent buff if I needed it, but I'm not like in a rush to get another infinite pot if we get it cool if we don't we'll get it eventually i think the ones that drop the actual full ancient piece are the garudes and belkatas i believe those are the ones but it doesn't matter we just aoe down everything Also, this is low-key good because I might need dragon skill fossils <laughs> if we ever decide to go enhance. And I think the ones I want are the 40 stacks. See what kind of bigger pulls we can do. I know this is like actually two different rotations. The one in the back over here, like realistically, you don't need to. We got more time filled things. That'll go towards our seasoned character that we finished. By the way, if you haven't caught that video, we released it earlier today. And basically, it was the finale video for our season. We, for the most part, wrapped it up, finished the season pass, got 61, did everything I wanted to. We just have a few pieces of Tuvala accessories that are not pen yet, and like. Ultimately, to me, it doesn't really matter. But if you're a new player, I guess it might. They added some things in the new patch, or the latest patch, which was 
certain spots have rewards like this right now and like some other areas have uh memory fragments and like 60 of them so that's pretty good i should probably do that one day i think it's a uh, one time per family So if we have about 350 of these cleared in five minutes, it'll take us times 10. So a little, in theory, a little under an hour to uh, finish this weekly quest for 3,000. What I would like though, a shuriken uh, what are those Marnie boxes? Because I just want the title. know if doing these bigger pulls is a good idea. Might as well just stick to the tight packs I know. And might as well use up the rest of our agris. Only a good 700. So I think, on average, when I first went for this piece, um, I would get, like, maybe three or four pity pieces an hour. I've definitely had hours with zero, had like, ones, twos, but I think on average, four. That was with the tent buff, though. That range on that is pretty wild. So I think this spot, if you're going for it, it's not really a gear check, so let's see, what does it recommend? 210? It's more, I think you should have more DP here, just because things will, like, the density of everything is a lot. And, like, if you get CC'd here, I think that hurts more, so. To either kill things before they CC you, or have more DP. I actually got the ancient piece here once and it was all the way on the other side. I have a screenshot somewhere. I hate that guardian spirit thing so much. It takes so long. I'm too lazy to follow it unless it literally goes where I'm going.
You know what those funny memes on PC where people are like at 99 pity pieces and then they get the ancient piece? Usually, if that's for the mana piece, then that feels bad. But if it's for the health piece, like, that's actually good. Because, uh, more mini pe potions are always nice. I wish that thing didn't take so long to summon the actual boss. Also, that Hapu and Otter RBF thing that's for the event, that has got to be the worst thing I've ever seen. Wh whoever decided that was a good idea. It, it was fun the first time you do it, maybe the second, but then you start to realize it's actually stupid. <laughs> Dude, how long until the boss spawns? Armoth appeared. You know, okay, so there was another one, like the Draconia dragon that they added for an event. Apparently that one bugged and you couldn't even break the chest, so it's like they disabled it. It was bad. It's like the same thing, but somehow they broke the event one. What did I cheer for? I cheer for it hard and sharp. Okay, I guess. Just have to make sure I didn't get the actual full drop, otherwise I'm like, why am I here? Okay, so I didn't get it. I know they buffed a lot of the loot everywhere, so that's good. I think the ones here are worth uh, 12k each now. Not bad. I don't really think this place is really worth grinding for silver, but it's better than it was before when you're going for the potion.
10 of those. We're actually going to do a video one day of me opening my sealed black uh, magic crystals because uh, funny in Velia, we have like 584 of them. And I'd like to think the probability of getting everything should be even because the prices are. But I just kind of want to see and I want to get a big enough sample size like I don't know. Maybe a thousand before we do it. And like, yeah, I could just buy them off the market. It's not the same. We got an orc and rad belt. How much are those worth? Like, uh... 20 mil? Oh, not bad. Dude, I've been grinding with a Nuver on this entire time. Not that it matters, this area. But I just noticed I had a Nuver on. Yep, zero difference. <laughs> Turns out having overcapped gear doesn't really make too much of a difference here. By the way, that rotation, all those things in the back are like the back rotation. I don't know if it's actually better. I just like uh, smaller circles because it's easier for me instead of just sporadically killing everything. Halfway done. I wonder if it might actually be faster since there's more enemies there, but it's like not a rotation. I don't know. I'm just going to stick to my circle. Our goal is to finish this before our Marnie Realm Hour ends. I think we can do it. 25 minutes under Realm.
That's new music. I've never heard this before. Can we listen to the, uh... Hold on. Marnie wave. Can we listen to that? I like this station. this from i feel like i've heard of it like obviously this is all stuff you would uh in, like certain towns and whatnot but i've heard of this i just don't remember where The only thing I hope with this uh, Marnie Wave, the like radio station, basically, is they add new stuff over time because I can only listen to the same like playlist so many times. That's a good song. I'll say you guys know the Termian Park, right? So it is an event going on. It's uh, it's not really new, but it is new. There's like new stuff. But the whole Termian Park is basically the same. And okay, so there's this bonfire 
in the middle of where everyone's fishing, right? If you've ever looked at it during the nighttime in game, my god, I swear it's like seizure warning. Kind of funny, actually. Yay, Garmoth scale. I don't actually know what I use those for anymore, but I'll take them. lagged and like clicked out of screen that right there is like the one thing if you are lower on dp you're just gonna get smashed by everything and it kind of hurts your lower yeared glad they added this like radio station to Marnie realm or Marnie wave whatever something to listen to while I do my casual grind Two thirds done. Only one pity piece. At the rate I'm going, I'll be done in probably nine months. Shot that nebula. Okay, did we just listen to this song? I can't tell.
It sounds like a Pokemon theme song. Hundred to go. Honestly, like when I do these, I've done the Renaros one, Blood Wolves before, and um, or for the quest weekly. And this one definitely feels like it's the fastest. Renaros was actually over an hour, probably like an hour and ten, just because density isn't as high there. I guess that's why people say that Renaros was kind of tedious, and uh, yeah, it kind of was when I went for it. My first one, I got the hard ancient drop, but the second one, I've won full 100 pity pieces. It didn't feel great. I do like symphonies. That seems interesting. What is my item drop rate? 173. Oof. I missed the uh, drop rate event when there's 100%. It felt good. I didn't get an anything uh, I wanted, but I felt it. And now that we don't have it, it feels bad.
that it? Feels bad. No more goodies. Oh, that counts as a quest. Nice. Home stretch under 400 to go. Now it's uh, under 400. I know this music. Don't tell me. Hold up. It sounds like a Margoria one. Margoria or Dregan? Sounds like siege music. Or Valencia Castle. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's more Valencia. boys six minutes left on marnie realm Let's see if we could finish up this quest before then i think we can I wish I told you the song of uh, this instead of the station. Because I'm pretty sure it just says either Valencia or like, you know when you're grinding uh, centaurs or something or bassies, something between Valencia and Altanova? One of those. This one is definitely uh, Altanova music. Or just Madaya. Yeah, Madaya.
20 or 40 more and we are out Okay, now we turn off the music. We're done. Now we gotta go turn this in and we'll call it there. How do I get up the mountain again? Forgot. There's probably a faster way to do it. Overall, that was like 40 minutes. That was actually pretty quick to do the weekly. Some other ones. Um, I think Blood Wolves took me like 50 minutes. And Renaro's took me over an hour. Like an hour and 10. But this one, pretty quick. But yeah, if you are a new player looking to do seasons or just get into the game, I have a playlist for seasons and that we just did. So if you want to watch it, it's cool. God, that lagged. Mm, let me turn that off. Feed my pets again. Cool. Let's go turn these in and see how much silver we made. E I hope I'm going the right way because I have no idea where I am now. Hey, okay, that's where we are. Got it, sweet. Shortcut. Yeah, that's what it is. So, six more Dragon Fang, start a collection. We'll finish that in nine more weeks, probably. Take these, dump these here. Got another belt. I'll take those. Okay, so, uh, three belts, let's turn our trash loot in, 180 mil, uh, I don't really count the, where is it? Dragon scales, I'll probably use them, but I don't think they really sell. I 
So yeah, like another 60 after tax plus 180. So yeah, like in, in about 40 minutes, I got 250 mil uh, doing this pretty casually, plus all these other goodies that we got. I don't sell them either. So yeah, with that said, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow.